Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fan YouTube channel. Today we are apparently playing Counter-Strike because we are doing 1652 Diffuse the Bomb. Before we get into the video, make sure to B42 and leave a like if you know what that means. You have a bomb to diffuse and your time is running out. Your informer will provide you with a circular array code of length n and key k. To decrypt the code, you must replace every number. All the numbers are replaced simultaneously. If k is greater than zero, replace the ith number with the sum of the next k numbers. If k is less than zero, replace the ith number with the sum of the previous k numbers. If k equals zero, then replace the ith number with zero. As the code is circular, the next element of code n minus one is code of zero, and the previous element of code zero is code n minus one. Given the circular array code and an integer k, return the decrypted code to diffuse the bomb. So for example, if we have this array, um, five, seven, one, four, three, and k equals three. So when k equals three, obviously it's greater than zero, so we need to replace the ith number with the sum of the next k numbers. So let's kind of draw out our array. So if we have the number five, we need to sum the next three numbers. So it should be seven plus one plus uh, four. This is 12. Uh, and then we have seven, we have to sum the next three numbers. Obviously there's a wraparound, so we'll sum one, three, and five, and this is gonna be 10. And then for one, we need to sum four, five, and seven. So this is going to be 16. And then for four, obviously we just sum and it wraps around. So it's five, seven, and one, and that's gonna be 13. So relatively straightforward on paper, but how do we actually code this up? Well, as you can see, what we're gonna do is we're basically just going to traverse our array from left to right. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna maintain a sliding window of size k, in this case, k equals three, uh, but k can be whatever. Um, and we're just gonna maintain a sliding window of k, and basically as soon as we move the window to the left, we're going to remove whatever element was here and then add into the sum our element to the right. And then remember that we need to replace the element um, the ith element with whatever our sum is, and then we'll basically just do that uh, for the entire thing. So for example, if k equals zero, um, we need to basically sum in one direction, so going to the right, and then if k is um, less than zero, then we need to go sum to the left. If k equals zero, it's the easy case. So basically that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna traverse the array from left to right, and we're just going to maintain a sliding window of k, uh, size k, and as soon as an element enters the array, uh, we're gonna basically add it to our sum and, sorry, remove it from our sum and then add any element that comes in. And then we're just gonna replace the values in kind of our result array with whatever the current sum is as we process this. So let's now go to the code editor and type this up before the terrorists win. Okay, let's now code this up and we're gonna have to be quick because the bomb has been planted and I didn't buy a defuse kit. Okay, and the first thing we wanna do is just to have a helper function to keep um, keep track of how long the code is. So we're gonna say n equals len code. Then obviously we wanna initialize a result here, and initially it's gonna be all zero, and this is gonna be of length n. Now the first case we wanna handle is when k equals zero. Remember, we just wanna return all zeros, which is perfect because we have it in sums. So we're gonna say if k equals to zero, then we can just return sums and we're good to go. Now, remember there's two cases uh, at this point. K can be greater than zero or it can be less than zero. So let's do the positive K. So we're gonna say if K is greater than zero, then the sum uh, initially, so we're just gonna call this S, is gonna be the sum from code of one. And remember it's one because it's a circular array um, where code of zero is basically code of N minus one. So we just start from um, uh, one here. So we don't accidentally count it twice. So um, it's gonna be from k, uh, one to k plus one, right? So that's gonna be the initial window sum. So obviously we have k elements here in our sum. Now what we need to do is just go through um, our kind of window here and we wanna remove an element from the left and add an element to the right. We'll update the sum and then set that to be the value um, at the ith element. So let's get those ith elements. So we're gonna say for i in range of n what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sums of i is just gonna equal to s. Now what we need to do is actually update our s. So we're gonna say that s equals the old sum. So remember we need to minus the, um, the previous value that's gonna be removed from our sliding window when we move it up and we need to add the next element. So we're gonna say code of, we're gonna say i plus one 
modulo n. So this will basically get rid of the, um, the left side. And the reason that we need to do modulo n is because remember it's circular. Um, so this will basically get rid of the left side. And we're gonna say code of, let's see, code of i plus one plus k, because obviously uh, the, the right pointer is now k in front, um, and modulo n. So basically this will cut the, the front and this will uh, add basically the new end. And the reason that we have the modulos uh, is because we need to, like I said, um, account for the fact that it's a circular array. Okay, so that's the case where k is actually greater than zero. Now let's do if k is less than zero and it's gonna be the same thing basically. And this time sum is gonna equal sum, but we we're just gonna sum the first, um, or sorry, from the k elements until the end. So that will be basically um, those elements, right, from k on, so the, the, it's the sum of the last k elements. Now what we wanna do is we want to basically do the same thing. So we're gonna say for i, in range of n, we're going to say for i, oops, sorry, uh, we again want to calculate the sum and set that. So sums of i is going to equal to sum previous to like we did before. Uh, and now we want to basically do the opposite of what we did because we're going to move the window in the opposite direction. So s is now going to equal to s. And this time we're going to add the left side instead of subtracting it. And we actually want to subtract um, the uh, the right side. So we're just going to copy this and we actually just need to change this um, sign and we can basically reuse that code. And then all we need to do is simply return, if I could just type here, return the sums and we should be good to get wrong answer. Okay, where did I go wrong? Let's see. Um, oh, whoops, we don't want to do this because now we're summing it in a different direction. Sorry, we want to do, I, yeah, we don't do the plus one because we don't start uh, at one here. We just start, um, as normal. Okay, so now when we submit this, okay, perfect. And okay, cool, we got that in. Hopefully the bomb didn't go off, otherwise terrorists win, that's not good. Okay, cool, so that is how you solve this question. Uh, hopefully I didn't rush through it uh, too much for the effect of trying to pretend like it's a Counter-Strike match. Anyway, so that's how you solve this question. Pretty tricky for a um, for an easy, if I might say so myself. This This code here is a bit uh, tricky, you might need to actually write it out on a piece of paper to see why this works. Admittedly, I did just hand wave it because I think some people just want to see the, the code for the, the solution. Anyway, um, yeah, so time and space complexity, not that anyone cares because you're probably doing it for the daily, but obviously it's big O of N because you're just going through the array once. Uh, and obviously we need this, um, this sums here, which is just of length n. Uh, so the space complexity is going to be big O of n. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed the little um, Easter eggs with the Counter-Strike jokes. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.